This was an unprecedented opportunity to bring together industry policy and consumer interests, and in particular to look in an evidence-based way at what would drive financial inclusion through digital financial services. And what I particularly liked was that it was a chance to meet with telco regulators and telco industry representatives, as well as the more typical central banks and financial institutions that we usually work with, and bring in consumer perspectives very clearly. Yes, well I think we saw very clearly out of the whole body of recommendations a few key points, that there's need for innovation and that regulation and policy can permit experimentation, but it needs to be closely watched as well to be sure that there are guardrails around consumer protection issues, for example, to deal with security and the whole ecosystem and to make sure that the fundamentals are being built towards sound future growth. I think a few other interesting points are that the uh, clearly the long-term goal for this work is economic inclusion. So it's financial inclusion in the service of economic inclusion and more and more conversation about the second generation issues, competition and uh, credit and so on that will speak more directly to the growth agenda.